Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Amrita University and based on J.E. Mains uh, cutoffs, right? What are the basically branches you, uh, you can get, right? So it's basically on the J.E. Mains or the percentile. Before that, let's understand dates and everything. So all those who have not seen the dates, please remember 30th May 2025 can is the last date for registration for CSAP, right? So CSAP candidates are advised to basically enter their current available best JE mains 2025 score and upload the corresponding scorecard only. So if you are coming through JE mains, upload the one which is the showing the best of your two scorecards, right? And if you are registering till uh, you know. Uh, 20, 30th May then only you are eligible for getting into trial allotment and if you are registering after 30th May then you will be only considered for first allotment so answer is yes you can also register after 30th May but then directly to the first allotment 2nd June is the publication of the trial allotment result after that one day will be given so that you can edit your option entries right publication of trial allotment after that you can change your option entry and no changes is permitted after the allocation right so you have to be very clear with your order of academic preference which you are going to put for the first round then on the 5th of june you will get the first first round allotment result and what you have to do after first round uh, result i will tell you later in this video 5th of june after publication of the first allotment candidates uh, 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 regist can register new candidates can register for second round starting 5th of june 13th june is the last day to pay the initial tuition fees of 1 lakh rupees for candidate who are allotted seat in round one so if you pay on 1 lakh rupees then only you can basically block your seat or get your seat confirmed Confirm. remaining amount you have to pay later i will tell you the dates 15th june 2025 closing of csap registration for the second round seat allotment till date that date you can apply but those who apply at that point of time they will be only eligible for the round two or the second round round now 17th june will be the publication of the second round seat allotment then 17th june 2025 opens registration for the mop up round so student who want to participate in mop up round they have to register at that point of time registration fees will be refunded in case no vacancies are there in preferred branches right so i will tell you who uh, when uh, in terms of eligibility per se vacancies are there upgradation for those feel willing to and have full paid full fees those students can get upgraded in a mop round yes if you have got a seat and you have paid the full fees then you can participate in the mop round not allotted candidates in the second round can also participate in the mop round and the newly registered candidates right in the mop round can also participate 24th june is the date basically you have to pay the full fees right before this date if you have got the fees uh, seat in the first round and uh, last date to pay the full fees for those who got the seat in the second round so by 24th june all the students of first and second round should pay the complete fees 26th june is when the closing of csap for the registration for the mop up round right and 28th june when they are going to publish the mop up round allotment results so all those people who have paid the fees are eligible 30th june full fees need to be paid before the days only two days are given for paying the full pays fees for the mop up round allotted candidates now let's start about the basically cutoff which you can expect before that for the choice filling purpose you should have campus in this order uh, basically Coimbatore is the best campus or the flagship campus main campus you should always keep it out second best campus will be Amritapuri third best option Bangalore fourth option is like Chennai and then fifth option you can put Amravati which is the newer campus and should be uh, you know considered in this order so that is the order in which you can take the things now I am going to talk about the percentile basically in J means which you should have basically to get different branches for CSC and this is for the 
home state quota students right for students who are in the home state quota they can get for 95 percentile plus they can get in slab 1 in slab 2 you can get csc in 93 plus and in slab 3 you can get csc in 90 plus now talking about the different csc specialization branches aiml cyber etc competition is still high because uh, those are having common placement so in slab 1 in 93 plus percentile you can definitely get in slab 1 slab 2 for 90 percentile plus and slab 3 88 percentile so this i am going to uh, talking about the students with the home state quota right so for them it will be like little bit relaxed so with the uh, slab 3 itself you can get 88 percentile above now let's talk about the other branches so electronics communication and all the electronic specialization branches like electronics and computer etc are clubbed here so ece plus all the specialization branches with s1 you can get slab 1 in 90 percentile plus slab 2 87 percentile plus slab 3 85 percentile sometimes slab 3 can even go up to 80 percentile depending on the particular specialization branch now talking about the triple e which is electrical and electronics engineering and all the specialization branches of electronics engineering slab one you should be able to get in 86 percentile slab two you should be able to get 83 plus percentile and slab three 80 percentile and it can go even lower can up to go up to 75 depending on s3 how many students are willing to pay now talking about the mechanical engineering so again mechanical engineering will be similarly comp competitive in slab 1 you should be able to get 88 percentile plus in slab 2 you should be able to get up to 83 percentile which is similar to electrical electronics combination and in slab 3 you should be able to get 75 plus percentile and this is talking about the main campus and within the main campus all the branches not talking about the aerospace branch so aerospace branch will be still in demand in s1 you should get be able to get about 85 percentile for slab 2 aerospace branch in 75 plus percentile and in slab 3 you should get uh, uh, aerospace branch in 70 plus percentile so that is also in good demand in the main campus not talking about the last will be civil engineering chemical engineering and all the other branches so here the demand will be a little lesser in 70 plus percentile you should be able to get in slab 1 65 percentile you should be able to get in slab 2 and easily comfortably 60 plus percentile you should be able to get in slab 3 so those all the branches put together i'm giving one single uh, matrix so now considering for other state students it will be little tougher and they should score at least five to six percentile more in every category to get the same seats so that's all i have to talk thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates on amrita